For this project, I decided to do further research on Chaplinsky versus New Hampshire. Also, I'm so sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. So, what's, what happened? What got this started? Well, Walter Chaplinsky was on the street speaking and handing out pamphlets as a Jehovah's Witness when a riot started and he called a town marshal some really bad things that I wrote down, but I will not say, and he was arrested for it. So what happened in court? Well, Chaplinsky was convicted under the state law that prohibited annoying, offensive, or derisive speech to anyone who is lawfully in a street or public area. Chaplinsky argued that this was overly vague and so it violated his First Amendment. Well, did this violate his First Amendment? The court identified that there were certain exceptions to the First Amendment protections, such as obscenities, profane and slanderous speech, and fighting words. It was found that Chaplinsky's insults caused direct harm to their target and could be constructed to advocate an immediate breach of the peace. They were, convic they were considered fighting words, and so his First Amendment right was not violated. So how does this help today? This case helps today to determine more specifics to the First Amendment and broadcast what is and is not allowed to say. Because of this case, today we know that there is certain speech, such as fighting words, that can get us in a lot of trouble. Here is an image that just kind of illustrates the scene of that day. And here are the sources.